Maryland's Missing and the Murdered is a weekly YouTube channel that covers the topic of missing and or mur murdered individuals from the state of Maryland. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified when the next cases are released. 42-year-old physician Dr. Lay Beach Toy lived alone in Rockville, Maryland. She worked as a researcher for Children's Hospital in Washington, D.C., and she played the cello for a local orchestra. On September 28, 1994, Dr. Beach Toy was seen, last seen leaving the hospital. She would always take the metro, getting off at Twin Brook Station, and then walking 17 minutes to her home. On October 3rd, when she did not show up for work, her co-workers called police for a wellness check. Police arrived at her home close to 6.30 p.m. They found blood on the front steps, so they decided to search the perimeter of the home. On the side of the house, they found her body. Dr. Beach Toy had been beaten with a piece of concrete that was found at the scene, and she had been raped and strangled. Evidence showed that she had struggled with her assailant at the front of the home and then was dragged to where she was found at the side of the home. Police surmised that she had been followed from the metro station and then attacked on September 28th. DNA was obtained from the body and it matched to the DNA taken from a 52-year-old rape victim five years earlier on June 25th, 1989. The DNA was submitted to CODIS with no match in the system. Police gave the DNA to Parabon Labs, who used the DNA to create a composite sketch of the suspect. Further investigative leads came to a dead end, so Parabon began to use forensic genealogy to identify the suspect. They indeed did identify a suspect, Kenneth Earl Day. Unfortunately, Day died in 2017, so in order to positively confirm the identity, police obtained Day's, Day's DNA from the autopsy that was performed in 2017. On March 15, 2019, police announced that Kenneth Earl Day had did indeed kill Dr. Beach Thoy and raped that woman in 1989. Police learned that from 1989 to 1994, Day had lived in Rockville, Germantown, Gaithersburg, and Silver Spring, and they believe that there are more people that Day victimized. Thank you for joining me this week. If there's a Maryland's Missing or Murdered case that you would like to see on this channel, email me at marylandsmissing at gmail.com. My ex account is Maryland's m, m Music is by Silent Vengeance. Sources will be listed in the outro. I'll see you again next week. Be kind to one another. You never know what will happen tomorrow.